All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakan Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the hopefully elect. All right, and um, I was checking out this video. Let me uh, close the rest of this stuff. So it's this dude, this a uh, coon ass Jake, man. You know, you gotta call it how I see it, man. This dude, William Jones, man. He's a coon. He's a um, he's blinded by the Most High, you know. Straight up, you know. Uh, just turn it sideways here for a second. As you can see, you know, he cut his hair bald, lines up his beard, you know, and uh, really. He just said a few things, and I already see where this is going. He doesn't believe in the Bible. He used to be a he used to be a preacher. Now he don't believe in the Bible. So lucky for turning the camera all these different ways. I'm gonna rewind this just a little bit. Let you hear some of the words out this dude's mouth. Well versed in the Bible, read the whole Bible. He's talking about himself. I will have a whole library that I have built around the Bible. Hey, that's that's the first thing where you're going off because the scriptures tell you. That are seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. <laughs> you know, none shall want her mate. Let me get this. Let me get that scripture. Man. You know. Uh, let me let me keep this window up. I'm talking about he had a whole library. Like it, a uh, library built around the Bible. You don't really need all that. Now we use we use the we use different uh, sources to substantiate what the scriptures say. Let's get this: Isaiah thirty four and sixteen. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord uh, or the book of Yahweh, and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. So you're supposed to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about the extensive library he set up. Whatever, dude. And after doing further research outside of Bible books, found out what the truth was and things in history. So he said he found the truth out of the Bible, and he says that he found the truth of things in history. First of all, you will be a fool, number one, to not acknowledge that Esau, the so-called white man, has manipulated history. You know, as they say, to the victor go the spoils, man. And because the Most High allowed Esau, the so-called white man, to be victorious over you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and over the majority of the world, you know, his, his habitation, his, uh, his dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. You know, the such as the blessing that came for Esau, you know. Let's see here. Get that. Genesis twenty seven and forty. And I'm, I'm I'm in this parking lot, a bunch of bunch of activity around me. So it's like it. I keep looking around. Genesis 27 and 40. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother. So like it. That ain't what I want. I want above that. All right. Genesis 27 and 38, 39. No, we can just read this part. 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept, crying like a little bitch. After he sold his birthright, now he wanted back. It's too late. Verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling place shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Esau, the so-called white man, does have the fatness of the earth, all the, all the pleasant places of the earth and the dew of the heaven above. Man, he got the highest habitations. He got the, he got the stars. You know, got space stations out there. And he got all the best places of the, of the earth, man. 
all the so-called fat places, all the all the fruitful places belong to Esau, so Edom right now, man. The so-called white man, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> so like I said, man, to the victor go the spoils, man. What about these different there? Are, there, if you would have known the truth, then you would understand that the scriptures are talking about so-called black people. You know, you would see the icons and see that all the all the the Russian icons and the different icons and the Paleo Hebrew found around uh, so called America. You know, and you would see that okay, the original inhabitants of America were uh, were, were Hebrew speaking people. You know, and you would see uh, that the the patriarchs and the different uh, icons from the Bible were actually so called black people. But you would rather take what. The devil, uh, the uh, the adversary, uh, Esau, the so-called white man, you would rather take what he says as as gospel knowledge and throw away the Bible. Why? Because the Most High didn't open your understanding. You was a pork chop eating pastor, a uh, 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 Bishop Bacon, you know, and you didn't have the understanding then. And then you strayed from the right book to throwing away everything. You know? Okay. Now, some of you, I think you're getting confused that when I quote Bible scriptures, you're saying, well, you say you don't believe in God and the Bible is. See, and, 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 and see, that's crazy. Why are you quoting scriptures if you don't believe in that the Bible is 100% true? You say you're throwing away religion, but you say you, but you say you found the answers outside of the scriptures. You're completely confused, man. You're completely and utterly confused, you know? And it's niggas like this that are going to be destroyed, man. The Most High is going to utterly destroy this dude here. And this is kind of impromptu. You know, I really don't know what else this dude is talking about, man. I really don't want to hear it. You know, let's just hear what he's got to say, though, real quick. I may, if the spirit hop me, I may have a precept of, you know, go in on this dude, but I'm probably going to end up with this, man. Just, niggas like this that throw away their heritage, man, they're going to be destroyed, man. Hey, but you quote the scriptures. Keep it in context. If I'm using it, I'm using it to show you that believe it, what your book is saying. See, how can you use the scriptures to tell us what our book, what our book is saying if you don't believe, you know? You probably don't even know the keys to unlock the scriptures, man. You don't even have the keys to unlock it. Of course, Yahweh Shai has the keys to your understanding, and your understanding is clearly locked. The door to your understanding is closed. You know? So I'm going to just get this. Hello, Moto. So lucky I had a phone call. But yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm just going to read the scripture, man, because... Uh, he doesn't really know. I did not search that. What happened? All right. So lucky. Let me go back. You know, because hey, Christians, so-called Christians, ex-Christians, your average pastor, pork chop, and deacon, <laughs> deacon Dak. <laughs> you know, Bishop Bacon, because Dak is that canned ham. And of course, we know what bacon is. So yeah, all these pork eating pastors, man. You know, y'all don't really understand the scriptures, man, because y'all don't even accept how the scriptures tell you that they are to be read. So you can't even begin to open your mouth to tell me what the scriptures are saying. You can't tell nobody what the scriptures are saying. Number one, you don't believe. Number two, seeing is how you don't believe. You cannot have the answers. The scriptures tell you. That uh, a good understanding have all day. They keep his commandments. You ain't keeping his commandments. You're shaving your head completely bald. You're lining up your beard. You probably eat pork. You're going outside of the scriptures in order to find your truth. You don't acknowledge that you're a Hebrew Israelite. You going off. You don't. You don't. You don't have no understanding. Most high is not going to give you no understanding. The scripture tell you that a, a, a wisdom and knowledge will not rest in a malicious soul. You know, it will not enter into a soul that is subject unto sin. All right. Isaiah 28 and 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? This is a question. 
Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. This is the answer to that question. Them that have grown up in the, in the truth. <laughs> Them who have basic understandings mastered and who he um, he can trust with uh, greater greater knowledge, man. Verse 10, for precept must be upon precept. It must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So you might have read the scriptures. I guarantee you didn't use precepts to back it up. I guarantee you didn't go, okay, yeah, this lines up with this scripture perfectly and this lines up with that scripture as well. And this scripture over here, you're going to be going to different chapters and pulling up different scriptures that all line up with the same thing, man. Verse 11, for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. And that word stammering in the uh, Hebrew goes back to mocking. And one of the ways that the American language is a mocking language is because you'll go and you'll think you'll understand the definition of something. And then you'll go and you'll uh, and you'll go look it up and it won't even mean that, you know. Verse 12, to whom he said, this is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they were not here. But the word of Yahweh was unto them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. And that's what happened to this dude, man. You know, he got snared and taken and he ultimately, he never believed, man. How do you go from saying you a pastor you got all these books talking about a library based off of the Bible, and then you find your truth outside of the scriptures. And now you don't believe the scriptures no more. You're going to die, man. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Call Halal, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopefully elect. All right, with that, I say Shalom.